Unicorns aren't real. What? Brian, why would you say that? Of course they're real. I'm right and you're wrong. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kara the Blonde Unicorn. And today I'm doing a preview of I'm Right, You're Wrong from Jab Publishing. They're from Canada. I'm Right, You're Wrong is a light strategic card game. And even though the box says it's five to 10 minutes to play, it's actually two to 20 and it's really quick to learn. Don't worry, this is just a prototype and does not reflect the final version of the game. Let's dig into the box. Let's go ahead and do an unboxing of I'm Right, You're Wrong. Here we have this really nice box, really good quality. Inside we have our rules. I really like the size of the rule book and it's always a good thing to have rules. And then we have our cards, which are pretty fun. I do enjoy the artwork on them. Um, this one right here kind of cracks me up a lot. It says, farts are just ghosts of things we eat. And it's a little bird that's embarrassed because it tooted, which is really cute. Um, this one says, do you really want to be one of those people? Which I think is quite funny. Now let's learn how to play. To win the game, you must be the last player with cards in your hand. If you run out of cards, you lose. If you can't play a card, you lose. If you break a rule, you lose. You want to be the last person with cards in your hands. Now let's go ahead and set up. First, you'll shuffle the cards. Pretend that I know how to shuffle. And then we're gonna deal five cards to each player. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put the remaining cards in a deck in the middle of the playing area. Now the first player to compliment someone else gets to go first. Let's talk about play order now. So you will draw a card and then you must play a card from your hand. That's all it is. Draw a card, play one card. No more, no less. And you'll do whatever the card says. So for example, if I decide that I'm going to play uh, let's see, empathize here. The card says, I'll do the loving for both of us, which is pretty cute. And on the bottom, self, so I'll play it on myself, and it says, blind play next opponent's turn. So when it's their turn, I'll take a card and play it for them. Now let's go ahead and start looking at these cards. We're gonna start out with attack. We know they're attack because they're red and have a little piece of dynamite in the upper corner. Now this one says, huh? And it says, I'm going to play it on myself. I will draw one card and immediately play it. This one is mislead. Only the finest for you, my friend. It's like a doggy has like the jacket open with like the watches type thing. It's pretty cute. Um, this one again is self and I will blind swap one card with an opponent. That means I'm going to take a card from somebody and they will take a card from me without looking at them. Then we have deflect, insult, denied. Uh, and this one actually will play on an opponent. So I'll get to choose who I want to play it on and they will have to return one card and then draw one new card. So that means they'll take a card from their hand and put it on the bottom of the deck. And then we have annoy. This one says, I know you are, but what am I? Meh. So this one is a self card. So it says you can't play a high road card until the next turn. And then we have dig. This one says you used to be cool. And down here it's a self card, so I played on myself. And I can't play an attack card until the next turn. Or well, I can't play it on the next turn. These are the high road cards. We know they're high road cards because they're green and have a cute little thumbs up. Now this first one, it says negotiate, agree to disagree. And this one is for everyone, it says all. And it says uh, can't play an attack next turn. So that means for the entire round, no one can play an attack card. This one is reflect. I hate my job, but at least I have security. This is a self card, so you would draw one card and then return one card. Now remember, returning cards means you take a card from your hand and put it at the bottom of the deck. This one is empathize. 
I'll do the loving for both of us. And it's a little birdie and a robot. It's pretty cute. This one is it's a self one, so you blind play next opponent's turn. That means after they draw their card, you're just going to randomly take a card from their hand and play it for them. And then we have Listen, the cute little birdie listening. It says next opponent, play next card drawn. So whatever they draw, they have to play. And then we have Accountable. Yeah, my bad. This is on an opponent, and they would have to return one card. Last but certainly not least, we're going to talk about trap cards. You know the traps because they're yellow, and they have cute little cheese in the corner. So this first one here is Appeal. It says, not in my house. A doggy dressed as a judge, which is pretty cute. This one says, play face down. So you play it face down, and it has a trigger on it. So the next attack card that's played, that person would have to return one card. The next one we have here is Distract. Ooh, a cute little doggy, um, which is a cute little doggy. I love it. And this one is also a play face down one, and it is Trigger with the next high road, and you, you would ignore that one. Passive, it says, sure thing, boss. This one is a play face up, and it's for everyone. No one can play a trap card until this one is disarmed. And then we have a play dumb. It's a cute little robot. It says, computer says no, which I think we've all been there. And this one is a play face down, trigger, none. This is a dud, which is kind of fun. And then we have gamble. It says, let's risk it for a biscuit. It's a little doggy wants a biscuit. And it is a play face up. Trigger next high road also draws one card. It is now time for my final unicorn thoughts on I'm right, you're wrong. I really enjoyed this game. It was really quick and easy to learn. It took Brian and I only a few minutes. We got to play it a bunch of times. I lost every time, but that's fine. It's okay. Coming for you, Brian. Uh, but it was really fun to learn. I really appreciate how quick and easy the turns were, and I really enjoyed the artwork. I liked the different characters that were on here. Um, I feel like this game, even though it does say 14 up, could really work for kids. Um, if you're okay with a little bit of crude humor because it's so quick and easy to learn. Uh, this would be a great game to take with you to game night because it's very portable. It'll be a great little filler game in between bigger games or while you're waiting for a game to be done. Someone else could be playing this one. It's just that good of a game. Definitely go on over to their Kickstarter. Check it out. The link is below in the description.